supermarket we are going to buy some shit and then maybe we swim a little bit yeah um, Just, just follow her. We thought why not have a jaunt around the whole island on our fourth day? So we did. We saw some amazing spots, like the infamous Mushroom Rock, aka Bathsheba Rock. What a blast! Look at that, people have been captivated by the stunning beauty created by centuries of erosion from the powerful Atlantic. Each wave offers a unique opportunity to capture breathtaking photos and videos. This incredible destination is simply too irresistible to pass up. Our tour with Sam was an absolute hoot. He gave us the grand tour of the coast, and it was a real treat for the eyes. The trip to Mushroom Rock was an adventure that we will never forget. I descended the steps with a flourish, my heart full of adventure and my eyes fixed firmly on the gleaming entrance of the cave. I could feel Maria's anticipation radiating off of her like a beacon of energy. She was ready to experience the alluring unknown just like Indiana Jones, and I was ready to join her. Visiting the Barbados Animal Flower Cave is a must-do during a trip to the island. We were blown away by its beauty and the incredible views of the Atlantic Ocean, it's simply spectacular. Maria needed a bit of help getting through the cave, so she recruited me as her trusty sidekick. As soon as we stepped foot into the limestone cave, we was absolutely amazed by the intricate rock formations and crystal clear pools of water. It's like Mother Nature's own art gallery. Unfortunately, we missed out on the anemones, locally known as animal flowers, because we weren't there at the right time. Oh well, maybe next time. Honestly, we didn't have a clue what we were up to here. I said let's think up something unique for our blog and she was all in. Let's see what kind of genius ideas we came up with.
As we stood atop the cliffs of the cave, the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean stretched out before us, and we were filled with awe. We were humbled by its beauty and inspired by its boundless expanse. Truly, this was a magnificent sight to behold. Our trip was made infinitely better by stopping off to buy paintings and trinkets from local artisans. Not only did we get to take home a reminder of the trip, but we also had the pleasure of helping out the people in the area by putting our money directly into the community. It was a win-win. We cruised along Gravity Hill, which seems to have totally thrown out the rulebook of physics, so much so that some folks online even claim it's an optical illusion. From whichever angle I looked, it definitely looked like an uphill climb. On top of that, while driving, it felt like gravity was pulling us up, which meant we were actually moving down. Experience the world-bending phenomenon for yourself. You'll be amazed at how your eyes and brain interpret reality differently. Visit and see the illusion in action. You just might be surprised at what you observe. One more like that. One like that. Yeah. How, how much for a home like that? Okay. Oh, 60,000 Barbados. Wow. After our road trip, Sam was trying to convince me to move to Barbados and buy a house. I replied, we'll see, I'm sure my family would miss me if I made the move. To which he chuckled and said I could always come back and visit them anytime. We thought we'd make the most of our last sunny day and head out to get some coconut water. Little did we know, though, that Sunday is a day of rest in Barbados, and most places were closed up tight. We weren't giving up that easily, so we took to the streets, asking everyone we could find where we could get our hands on some coconut water. Unfortunately, some people didn't know the answer, but we kept pressing on, determined to find our goal. Eventually, we stumbled upon a helpful fella tidying his garden who was able to direct us to the coconut vendors. Success! Damn, it's pouring over here. <laughs> I think we're stuck over here. As the deluge descended, our journey took an unexpected twist. We sought refuge at a bus stop, where I had the pleasure of making the acquaintance of a delightful British retiree. While we chatted, the buses drove by, showering us with copious amounts of mud and grime. Ah, the joys of island life. The rain in Barbados was like a warm shower, which made walking in it surprisingly pleasant. Who knew that getting soaked could be so enjoyable? West Coast rain in the US ain't got nothing on this. Maria and I had a blast while we waited for our taxi to the airport. We got to enjoy one last lunch date at the beach restaurant, chatting about all the amazing memories we'd made on our trip. Although we were sad it was our last day together, we were both thrilled to get back home. After noshing on delicious grub, we snapped some pics and took some vids, then hopped in a taxi to the old airport. We hugged one last time at the airport, savoring that moment like it was the last. Sure, we knew our paths would cross soon. But for now, it was time to say our goodbyes and go our separate ways. Hey friends, 
Give us a thumbs up on our first video and help us reach our potential. Your support will help us spread our experiences to a wider audience and allow us to keep creating more awesome content that we know you'll love. Thanks for your help.